<laughs> yeah. What's good with y'all boys? It's your boy I'm going on. Back in this thing with another video, bro. So look, today I got another story time for y'all boys. So look, this mother occurs around second or third grade. And this is about how when WWE get taken too far, bro. Let's get straight into it. Alright, so look. This story, we was in school. So I remember like my like my homeboy, my best friend, he told me he was like, bro, I'm having a birthday party on this stuff. He told me this like a month in advance. So you already know he tell me and the fellas, bro, we in this mud hype. We ready for that mud. We already know, cause we know how his party be, bro. We already know. Like everybody at that time, bro, when you have a party, like, you know it's gonna be fun. Ain't no knockoff, people ain't clowning you cause you know you got not enough people there, uh, girls ain't twerking, you know how party be today. But at that time, you know, just about fun, you don't, you don't need no bitch. Oh. <laughs> no girls, bro. You could just like, just kick it by playing the game. We just do different stuff, you know, actually go places, like actually like go to arcades and stuff. It was just different like then, you know. Now it's like, you know, people be having parties, you gotta have like a whole bunch of people there and all that stuff. Well, you know, but some people, you know, they still keep it a little like, you know, go to restaurants or something. So at that time, yeah, so that's what we were doing. Like we told he soon as he told us we, we hyped. Like, we in this month. We like, okay, bet. So we knew like the weekend was coming up. Like he told us a month ahead, but like the weekend was coming up, that's when we was the most hyped. So like bro. So we at school, bro. We all talking, we in this month. We like, bro, we can't wait, bro. We know it's gonna be live, bro. Dude told us he had a gaming truck. He like, bro, we was like, ooh, bro. He, we already know like his house, like he already had a whole bunch of stuff, like uh so it was like, oh, look, shit, we got to turn up, bro. So, so weekend come, y'all know like when you like the closest, like you know, we just closest friend, like we know we best friends. So you know you're gonna be there the first, like you know gonna be there first, pretty much. Like, you know you gonna be there first. So I get there first. So we wait for everybody to come, but like pretty much like soon as we get there, I thought the gaming truck was gonna be there. We had to wait a little bit because everybody got there before the gaming truck showed up. So. We was just chilling, and then the gaming truck showed up. We was on there for a little bit, but it turned out the gaming truck kind of, like, it didn't have as much games we thought it was going to have, bro. So, bro, it was like, look, old games, old Halo, old, like, it had nothing to do games. We thought it was going to be some games that was never, like, we didn't see before. So, we weren't on there that long. Like, it was just there pretty much after a while. Like, we just left. So, we started, like, we put ready to play football, went on a trampoline. I remember when we was on the trampoline, like we was jumping and like we was wrestling. Like this is another thing. Like, like we were wrestling the day before, pretty much. But just playing around and stuff. So I remember like everybody had jumped on the big guy. You know, for some reason, like as kids, you know, they bigger they are. Like that's what we think that we just bouncing off, we don't hurt them at all. So bruh, dude, dude get up. Like I remember we was bouncing on him, he get up, he was like, threw up, bruh. That mother, we were like, ooh, you know, kids, you know, we're gonna make that mother known. We ran in the house, we hyped. <laughs> He just threw it, he just threw it, you know. So, like, he had to leave, bro. I don't remember he didn't want to leave, bro. That one was so tragic, bro. So, but y'all know how it be when it get to nighttime. Nighttime, we were just in this mud, chilling. Nobody, bro, was going to sleep in this mud, uh, playing the game still. Then, uh, you know, if you go to sleep early, it's over. Like, you can't be doing it. It's too many people there. They are already, too many people, too many personalities. Some people don't want to play around. So, people are like, all right, bro, don't do that. And they gonna join in anyway. So, now... That was just a little description of the party for y'all. Next day, I ruined that motherfucker. <laughs> so, so look, bro, we outside, bro. Like, this is like when everybody about to leave. So, uh, at the time, he had a friend that stayed in a uh, uh, complex with them. Not a complex, but the neighborhood with him. So, we, we was outside wrestling again, bro. You know, at this time, it's like kids, you know, you watch wrestling a lot. So, like I said, <laughs> so we on the trampoline, bro. I remember, like, we was all wrestling, but, like, at the time, you know, bro, like, hey, <laughs> what you see is what you gonna do, so, like, dudes is trying to, like, John Cena people, you know, that's stuff that you can't, you know you can do for sure, like, dudes trying to John Cena people and all that stuff, so, bro, I remember we in this mug playing, and, like, we was like playing for like we was like not for real but like we was like we was hype we was in this mother playing for real bro like like but like we not playing so hard to the point where we throwing real punches and shit like we you know still like you know like just like light jazz and stuff but we for real we grapple like you will get slammed right so <laughs> i remember like i took it too far bro 
So, <laughs> like, y'all, if y'all know who Chris Jericho is, bro, bro, at the time, like, on WWE, I used to have his move as my finisher. So, I remember the kid, like, one of the kids that stayed in the neighborhood, like, he turned around, he running. I'm running to him, like, oh, he don't know. Woo! <laughs> hey, he didn't even know what was coming. He thought I was going to come, like, try to pick up. Nah, none of that. I said, huh! Need in the face, bro. When I tell y'all, I knew when I did it, I was like, bro, as soon as I did it, like, he ain't get up. I was like, oh, bro, you know, kids, you don't realize till like, after, like, you being so hyped. But then, like, when, after you do something, when you say, oops, it's me, it's too late, bro. So, you look down, you see him like this, bro, he get up, blood spurring, bro, like, spilling, bro, just, bro, he, he holding his mouth like this, like, and he didn't cry though. I was probably didn't cry. I'm like, no, me, I'm I'm done for at that time. So he bro, his friend already knew, like, but we got to tell. Cause ain't no way you can't you can't run this out the house, quick clean it up, cause it's gonna be a, a scar or um a bruise or something. So we bro, we had to go straight to his mama. His mama wasn't mad at me though. Like it was like, I don't know what he told her, but I know for sure that I did not get in trouble. So <laughs> bro, I remember like I was so like I'm like, oh my, I'm gonna get in trouble. Like, it was no way. Cause if you told the, like, if you told the truth, or well, no matter what happened, you gonna assume like, what really happened? Cause ain't no way his mouth just bleeding like that unless he fell on the pole or something. But what's the chance you fall on the trampoline pole on your face first? Like, come on, bro. So, <laughs> bro. So that was it for that story, bro. Like, I ain't getting in trouble, but I thought I was going to get in trouble. Like, I didn't like at that time. Like, bro, like. Wrestling was the thing, so you trying to replicate the moves, and you don't know what like the outcome be. So, bro, you'll see the most craziest stuff, bro. And anyway, brush your butt. Hey, I'm going. And I'm, I'm out this thing. <laughs>